In this video, I'll walk you through the masonry works POV, including all the items that will be there and the different types of the block work and the sundries and all of this stuff. Also, we will talk briefly on the pricing of the masonry works starting right now. Here I am at bill number four, the masonry works. And as usual, we start the bill by referring to the civil specifications related to the masonry works. So we'll just put the section number here and we can also refer to the architectural drawings, the plans and all where you can see the block walls or the masonry walls. And we are starting with walls and piers. So the description of the block work items can be as following. Supply and the install solid block, for example, now we are talking about the solid block. So supply and the install solid block fixed and jointed in cement sand mortar including joint reinforcement mesh and all required fixing accessories and as you can see here i have two items which is two thicknesses that i have in my project solid block 100 mm thick and 200 mm thick and both of them are measured in a square meter then after that we go to the hollow block so again supply and install hollow block fixed and jointed in cement sand mortar including all joint reinforcement mesh and required fixing accessories so basically it is the same and we have hollow block 100 mm thick 100 50 and 200 mm thick here and all are measured in square meter the same goes for the thermal block but we have only one thickness here in the project which is 250 mm thick measured in a square meter of course these thicknesses you can change them as per your project and as per the walls available in your project now two items here which comes under the sundries we have allow for fire sealant this will be above the block walls will be something like civil defense requirement and this can be an item or can be in linear meter for example if you want to price it the quantity will be one so it's an item but you need the rate the lump sum rate here will be equal to the total linear meters of the wall multiplied by the rate of one linear meter and you can put this amount here and you also have the required stiffener columns and beams this item can come here under the masonry works So regarding the rate, the rate of any block or masonry wall will include the supply of the masonry or the blocks and also we need the mortar, cement and sand and all of this and we need of course the accessories, the mesh and the angles, nails and all of that and also of course the manpower, the helpers and the masons required to fix the block and this video here is a detailed video shows you how to estimate the cost of block work. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.